Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. This is a runner's warm-up routine from my new book, Yoga for Athletes, now available for pre-order shipping out December 15th. This routine is pretty cool because we're going to focus on warming up the muscles and the joints that you need to be performing well for running, but we're also going to make sure that your body is in a, in a nice upright posture so you stay nice and tall and you have a good running technique for your entire run. Um, no equipment required. We're going to get started with a mat and in a standing position. First pose is high lunge, so right leg forward, left leg back, just get into a nice comfortable lunge position, sink down into it, make sure you feel strong, hug your legs toward one another, again this is going to be focused on muscle activation too, so right leg squeezes back, left foot squeezes forward, bring your arms up and then just lean into a light back bend, so high lunge with a little bit of a back bend here, Challenging your balance, getting your ankles warm, your knees, warming up your thighs, your calves, but also working on that posture. Two more breaths here. As you exhale, you can squeeze your arms further back, lift your chest higher up, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs. Last breath. And then stand back up. Switch sides, straighten to the other side, left leg forward, right leg back, deep breath in, sink into the lunge, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your glutes, left foot squeezes back, right foot squeezes forward, bring your arms up, squeeze back, lean back, but stay really strong here. So we're in a high lunge with a back bend, but I want you to really feel your abs working. And think about making your spine as long as possible, staying as upright as you can. Two breaths here. As you exhale, you can go deeper, going further into the lunge, further into the back bend. Last breath. All right. And then release. You're going into a tree pose. This is really going to help with getting your ankles ready, making sure that your joints are strong for the run. Stand on your right foot. Bring your left foot either into your shin or all the way up into your thigh. Just make sure it's not on the knee at all. And then drive your foot into your leg. Turn your left knee to face to the outside. Keep your hips squared forward. Squeeze your glutes to drive your hips forward really strong through your standing leg, and then look at a non-moving point right in front of you at eye level. If you need a little bit of help with the balance here, then hold on to something. Hold on to a wall, hold on to a railing, whatever you have for balance, uh, hold on to something. And we're here for just two more breaths. So not too long with these poses, but with the warm-up, we really want to focus on intensity. That's going to help you Get your muscles firing, make sure that your performance is up there, but also you're preventing injury. All right, go ahead and release, and let's switch sides. Stand on your left foot now. Bring your right foot into either your right thigh or the shin. Square your hips forward, turn your right knee to face out. Squeeze your butt so the hips come forward. So you've got a nice straight line from your standing ankle all the way up through the knee, hips, shoulders. Bring your arms up. Focus on that non-moving point straight in front of you. Breathing in and out of your nose. As you inhale, fill up from the base of your spine, right at your pelvic floor, all the way up through your ribs. So really nice, long, deep breaths. And as you exhale, think about rooting down through your standing leg, grabbing the ground with your toes, squeezing your thigh muscles, your glutes, your abs, just really building that body awareness, getting your body strong for the run. One more breath here. And then release. By the way, if you fall out of that at all, it's okay. Just jump back in, slowly get back into it. Standing side bend, toes touch, heels an inch apart. Arms overhead, interlace the fingers, point your index fingers, deep breath in, and lean toward the right, press your hips toward the left. Now just 30 seconds here, but I want you to be really strong. So squeeze your thighs, lock out your knees, press down through your feet, grab the ground with your toes, 
and really press up with the hands. As you exhale, go deeper into that bend, feeling the stretch, but staying strong through your hips and your core. Squeeze the arms back just a little bit. One more breath. And then back to the middle. Take a breath in, reset. Exhale, switch sides. Lean toward the left, hips toward the right. Squeeze your arms. So biceps are kind of pressing into your ears. Squeeze your thighs. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your abs. Again, really focusing on muscle engagement for this warm-up. That's what's going to help make sure you have as many muscle fibers as possible working. And that's going to improve your performance and also minimize injury, reduce strain on your joints, all that good stuff. One more breath here. And then back to the middle. Keep your arms up, keep your legs where they are. Bend at your knees, hinge at your hips, pull your butt down and back, and sit into a chair pose. Just 30 seconds here. This is a really intense lower body pose. So allow your knees to come forward past the toes. Just make sure that your butt stays back and the weight stays um, evenly distributed through your feet. Don't let it all shift to the toes. Grab the ground with your toes, press down through the heels, squeeze your glutes, keep your chest upright. See if you can sit down a little bit lower for your last breath. Squeeze your knees together. And then stand up. Okay. Nicely done, that's intense, but that's what's gonna help you with the run. Take it down onto your chest for Cobra. Lower all the way down. Hands under your ribs, extend your legs back, point the toes, press your feet into the floor, lock out your knees, squeeze your thighs, hug your legs together, squeeze the elbows down toward the hips and tight in toward your sides. Pull your chin back, feel the muscles in your upper back, working also in your lower back your abs your hips your thighs again the goal here is getting those muscles engaged getting them working but also on making sure that you have nice posture for the run 10 more seconds here give it everything you have <clears throat> five three two one and release okay one more pose here we're going to do one more back bend just to make sure your posture is Really set for the run, so standing back bend. Toes touch, heels an inch apart. Bring your arms up, interlace your fingers, and then squeeze your arms back. Lift your chest up toward the ceiling. So we want the chest lifting up. We want your hips right above your ankles. Make sure that you're not arching your back. And breathe in and out of your nose. This is a really good opportunity to work on controlling your breathing. As you inhale, fill up through your entire chest area. So you wanna feel this all expand as you breathe in. And as you exhale, squeeze deeper into the back bend. Last 10 seconds. And release. Okay guys, that's it. Just a really quick, intense warm up for runners. Um, you're going to feel a lot better in your run now. Knees are going to feel better, better posture, hopefully more awareness with your breathing and with your core, and your ankles should feel better too. So, hope you enjoyed this workout. I hope you'll support the release of the book, now available, Yoga for Athletes, um, wherever books are sold. Um, and thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video.